Greetings future engineers and architects. My name is Tandy Shogalola and I'm a public education specialist with the Fort Worth Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me for the Three Little Pigs STEM Building Challenge. Today I have for you two challenges to complete, but you can choose to complete one, one or both of those. Your first challenge will be to build a simple foundation that can support a load of books. I built one that can support 30 books, but I want to see if you can beat that. Now your second challenge will be to create a house that the three little pigs can live in without being blown away by the big bad wolf. I'm going to provide you an idea of supplies to use to complete these challenges, but it will be totally up to you to determine the best way to complete your bills. So with all that being said, let's get started. So how do we do all this? To complete your first home structure, you will need to design an effective structure that can support a load of books. But let's make things more interesting. You can only use four pieces of paper and four pieces of tape to complete this challenge. Now I'm sure we all know the story of the three little pigs, but let's do a recap on what happened. I'm going to use my big pink blow dryer to be a stunt double for the big bad wolf over here. So the story begins as one little pig built his house out of straw and the big bad wolf came by to eat him, but he couldn't get in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew his house down. Yep, just like that. Then the wolf moved on to the next little piggy's house, which was made out of stick. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew his house down as well. This was way too easy. Guys, I challenge you to build a house that the wolf cannot break into. So we know that these two homes were defective against the wind created by the big bad wolf. Challenge number two calls for you to use engineering techniques to build one new home for the little piggies using materials that you can find in your own home. Let's walk through some engineering techniques that can be used um, to build a good strong home. Step one, inspect the houses that failed for flaws. So I want you to grab some paper and a pen so you can document all the reasons you think the straw and stick houses failed. I actually printed off a picture of a house online to help me with this task, but you don't have to use that. A paper and pen will suffice. After inspecting these homes, one thing I noticed is that the houses do not have a foundation. The houses we build should have something that can anchor the house down. If you have a Lego mat, then you are in luck because something like that is going to help you with this task. Another flaw is that the houses are too tall for its width. It might be a good idea to create a home with a wider base or even choose a different shape. The second and third thing we notice are the facade and materials used in the construction of the homes. The facade or the front of the homes are completely exposed and the materials used are way too light. Both of these designs work together to cause the house to blow away. Step two, design a blueprint. A blueprint is a fancy word for a picture design of the house you plan to build. Architects, this is your time to shine and create two cool house designs that you think the pigs will love. Remember, one house should be able to withstand the blow of the big bad wolf and the other house should be able to support the load of as many books as it can. Step three, find the materials needed to build the homes. Engineers, be creative and look high and low in your home for materials you can use to complete this challenge. Checking your bathroom, the kitchen, the recycling bin, and you might even find some cool things in the junk drawer. Step four, take your time and build your homes. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it or look up the library catalog for some resources. Step five, test the strength of your homes. Use a fan, a blow dryer like I have, or even a leaf blower to test your new build for its wind resiliency. If your home flies away like the three little piggies did, don't throw a fit, just retrofit or modify the design. Good luck everyone and I'll see you next time.